All right, welcome back here to the protocol video series. Today we're talking about dysrhythmias S127. Now a lot of this is oriented towards our advanced life support personnel, but there are some BLS components specifically how to perform CPR. Some variations from the AHA recommendations. So we'll zoom in here for BLS CPR. It is no longer a 30 to 2 compression to ventilation ratio. It is now a 10 to 1 compression to ventilation ratio at a rate of 110 a minute continuous compressions with ventilations every six seconds. You should be rotating a compressor every two minutes. Use a metronome at a rate of 110 a minute for manual CPR. There's a concept of team leader role. So that means one person's in charge directing CPR quality, monitoring rhythm checks, and keeping the call organized. If the arrest is witnessed by medical personnel, perform CPR until ready to defibrillate. If unwitnessed arrest, perform CPR for two minutes prior to a rhythm check. Total artifact heart patients do not perform compressions unless instructed otherwise by a ventricular assist device or total artifact heart coordinator at a base hospital. Use of an automated external defibrillator, assisting with ventilations with a bag valve mask and monitoring O2 saturations. Now, again, a lot of this is for ALS, such as drug administration and intubation, but the goal is high quality CPR with a rate of 110, a depth of one third, the anterior posterior chest diameter, allowing for full recoil and minimizing interruptions. Do not interrupt compressions. Again, that ratio is 10 to one continuous with ventilations every six seconds. This is entitled ALS, but that's a measure of expired carbon dioxide less than 10, poor survivability. Use of mechanical CPR device if available. There are devices that you can attach to the patient that'll automatically do CPR at a specified rate and BPM in order to free, uh, free up a provider. Do not overventilate. Be careful with your BVM ventilations here. Transport traumatic arrests to trauma centers and transfer monitor data, that's ALS, and consider reviewing the call with the crew post event. As a BLS EMT in this county, you will be performing CPR on cardiac arrest patients. So it's important to understand and memorize this protocol. All right, so we'll see you on the next one.